Hello, friends and fellow collectors. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. Pretty excited to bring this review to you. This is the 150th scale Northwest 80-D shovel by Speccast. This was the show model for the 2023 National Toy Trucking and Construction Show held in Indianapolis. I was lucky enough to attend in person this past year. Got an opportunity to meet a lot of you, which was wonderful. Always enjoy doing that. And there is an auction that's typically held there, too. So just a couple of the many reasons why, if you haven't been, I'd encourage you to go. It's usually held inside a hotel. So uh, if you're not familiar with the atmospheric conditions of Indianapolis in August, it's typically either oppressively hot or raining. So it's kind of nice that uh, it is held indoors. Anyway, enough about that. Huge thank you to SpecCast for being more than willing to provide a sample for me to show you here on... Uh, diecast for him and be able to do a review for you so let's go ahead and get started obviously you can see the style of packaging that the model comes in here's a description here's the toy trucker and contractor exclusive magazine logo spec cast and the toy trucker and construction show logo here's a better look at that logo and you can see northwest ADD down here and on the back story time continues i'll read this little information part to you. Northwest Engineering Company, Northwest Model 80-D Shovel. Northwest Engineering Company produced its first excavator in 1921. During the 20s, several companies entered the construction and excavator market to produce diesel or gasoline-powered machines. By 1927, Northwest was the second largest producer of excavators. At its peak production in 1955, over 1,000 excavators were produced. Production of the Model 80D, this model, ran from 1938 to 1985. Originally introduced as a two-cubic-yard Model 80 in 1933, the D suffix was added in 1938. The 2023 National Toy Truck and Construction Show Northwest Model 80D is a die-cast constructed replica and functions like the real thing. Included is one key to operate both the boom and the dipper stick cables. The dipper door opens to allow the contents to fall to the ground. The tracks are made of die cast, and the turntable allows the unit to swivel 360 degrees. The cab door slides open to show the interior. Authentic Northwest decals decorate the 80-D shovel, only 1,250 models are being manufactured, and no other Model 80D shovels will be made from this tooling. There you go. A little bit of information on not only the real vehicle, but the scale model. I love when scale model manufacturers do this, because typically 99.9% .9 of the reason that we are in the scale model hobby is because we have an interest in the real piece of equipment. So to me, that's obvious to include some photos and some historical information. All right, let's get this thing out. It is housed between two plastic pull apart formers. If I had to hazard a guess, I would bet they're taped. And they are. So what we'll do is we'll get a razor out and we'll cut this open. And when we come back, we'll have the model out of the plastic. All right, everyone, thanks for sticking with me. So let's go over some of the details on the model and then we'll get into functionality. Here is the key that you can use to, and it actually has Northwest ADD on it. I apologize about the focus. There we go. That's what the key looks like. And the key is metal, too. It goes in this hole or this hole. And as we'll see during the functionality chapter, you'll see how the key is used to operate the uh, machine. All right. Obviously, the paint is really well done on this model. I really like the color. It appears to be pretty dead on to what the real shovel was. So that's always uh, appreciative. Uh, very much good to see stumbling over my words here today i'm so excited over this thing anyway uh here is the back where you see the chevron decaling on it and nw and if you run your finger over it which obviously you can't do if you're watching it but it is somewhat like embossed inside the the back part of it coming over to this side you can see that there is a door that you can slide forward and back and inside the cab area which again is probably going to be a little hard to get on camera, but there is a seat uh, and several operators' controls. At the top of the controls, the levers are actually painted black, which is super cool to see. Uh, the tracks. We'll zoom back out here. 
obviously the tracks have a plastic covering on them for shipping and that's to prevent the tracks from separating because they are linked together for sake of the video i'm going to leave my tracks on and i probably will leave them on as i display this in the display cabinet but obviously if you want to take that foam off you can take it off rather easily all right moving towards the front here is the large cables and the pulleys and the bucket really quite nice how this turned out uh, one thing to point out that i would like to have seen maybe have been improved or gone in a different direction entirely all of the handrails they are plastic and very very flimsy uh, and the color black also is a little bit off from the metal black color so it does kind of detract a little bit from the overall look of the model uh, albeit not too uh, terribly not not too not too big of a deal um, smaller details there's a light on top of the cab and there's another light underneath seen there's my pointer pointer ran away seen here uh and obviously all of your cables your your thread pieces are look particularly good and they're to scale and um i'm glad that they went with using string instead of using a different material where it would have been too fat and just wouldn't have looked great on the machine okay so those are most of the details and the decals let's take our last break when we come back i'll bring out a cat 769 dump truck which is kind of around the same era of this machine and we'll check out the functionality all right trying to get all this on screen is going to be somewhat difficult but we'll do the very best that we can let's take a look at the functionality now i mentioned the tracks will move which is great if you stick the key into the bottom hole right here and then turn carefully that raises the main section here the boom up so that will raise that up if i take the key out and put the key in the second hole the bigger hole as you can see i am now raising the dipper stick so let's raise him up to as far as we can get it again just take your time with this be smart it's not necessarily a fragile mechanism, but you just want to be careful that your string is not jumping over the, the pulleys and all that other jazz. We'll swing the 80 over. Continue to raise it so that we're almost over the side of the dump truck. All right, so here we are now. And then that's what I wanted to show you is the bottom of the bucket. This swings open, uh, which is really, really cool. And that's a metal piece. It's not a plastic piece. So if you put the two together, you have a pretty convincing display. I'm going to take you with me in just a second here, pick you up, take you with me. And there you go. That's what it looks like. All right. In conclusion, the 150th scale SpecCast Northwest 80D shovel is an awesome model. There's no other way to put it. I'm so excited to have a vintage example of a machine like this in my collection. I don't have anything prior to this from Northwest. So again, it bears repeating. Thank you to Dave and everybody at SpecCast for making this happen. If you have not had a chance to pick up this model and add it to your collection, it is not inexpensive, but it's also not too terribly out of reach for most of us adult collectors. So I would not sleep on it. I would not wait. Go ahead and pick up one of these. You can get it from the SpecCast website, I believe, and you can also get it from the National Toy Trucker website. All right, all. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care. Be well. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. And lastly, if you look at your screen, you'll see some other suggested links for SpecCast product reviews that I have done recently. So be sure to watch those videos as well. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.